Hello, people. How you doing? Whitney Montero here. Take what resonates, see what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. Ain't no party like a scranton party because a scranton party never stops. I have been watching a little bit too much of The Office lately. Right, here we go, here we go. What does my collective need to hear today, please? Ooh, we got the gull. We got insect. Ooh, raven. There you are, Leo, the beautiful lion. All right, let's get this party started. These are some pretty big messages when I use these cards. So if you want to move forward, I'd probably go up a couple minutes because it's going to take me. <laughs> It's funny because the raven and the gull here, okay, they actually raged a war between one another and then came to a truce. So, So what I'm getting is that I feel like maybe you're moving somewhere. Like the war is over. You know, like the battle is done. And you know, after war, people are never the same. Right? And there are a lot of soldiers uh, who come back from war and are forever changed and almost relive that war every day. You know, like some people never leave the war, even though they're home. Some people will remember it. Some people act like it never happened. Um, you know, that's a coping mechanism. It's, you know, a way that you can move on knowing that sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. And there's no point in dwelling on the past, you know, um, you were forced to do something and fight for something that you didn't know anything about. And sometimes people take advantage of young minds and, and manipulate, um, young humans into doing things because their minds haven't fully developed. They don't know, um, the, the repercussions of what their actions are going to do to them in later years. You know, they're just thinking about right then and right there. Right. So I feel like maybe the, you know, the war that's been raged on you is over with now. And, um, you have, you know, the insect card is all about kind of transformation and, and, um, the metamorphosis of a, an insect being able to fly, right. Going from ground to air, um, was, I think monumental, right. Because it's the same with people we have the ability to fly. We have the ability to, to change ourselves and elevate beyond, uh, what we can see, hear, feel, you know, we, we are the magical things, not, not 
what you see on TV, not these theme parks, you know, you, you are the magic. And, you know, you might be one of those people that sees like, you know, people like me, for instance, maybe or witches or something, you know, doing something or creating something for themselves. And what you don't understand is that you are a part of that. Uh, the our tiny little spectrum as well of of unique beings, right? So that uh, would make sense that you have been raging a war, right? Because people have been trying to kick you out of something that you have every right to be there. Just because you're different, just because you're not like them, just because you don't participate in the things that gulls participate in or ravens participate in, right? You still have a right to be there. Everybody has a right to be on the beach. Um, and you know, if they're not allowed there, then call the cops and they'll get taken out. But you know, the way that I see it, everybody's allowed on the beach, right? So the fact that a fight even started on the beach, cause that's where the fight between the gall and Raven started was on the beach, right? The, the Raven showed up and you know, who's to say who was there first, but all of a sudden they just started beefing, you know, and the gall won, but only for a moment, right? And the same with the Raven, the Raven was beat. Okay. The white, the story of the white Raven was or the black raven okay was actually beginning was a white raven and this white raven was going and it was it was notifying buffalo that hunters were in the area and so these hunters eventually they started to starve because the whole point of the buffalo being there is so then the hunter could hunt it down and eat that is the way of life so the crow the raven got into a maybe it was a crow I don't know. Um, the, it got in a lot of trouble for doing this. And so they banished the crow and then, or the raven, brought it back. Okay, but what they did was they they caught it on fire. And the raven, or the white crow, I'm not sure which one it is, managed to escape the flames. Okay, but being forever burned and forever changed into the black. Okay, um, and was sworn that it would never uh, warn buffalo again of oncoming hunters because that's not the way the circle of life works if you got to have a warning you know before you were attacked the animal kingdom would have died by now right it's the element of surprise so i feel like um you know i feel like there's like really 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 uh like big message here Right, like honestly, like the war is over. There's blood on the moon, which means you know, blood has been shed. There's red on the moon, blood has been shed. And this this war that has been raged has been going on for a very, very long time. Oh my gosh. I have this crow uh card sitting right here. Okay. I don't know if you saw that it was sitting right here, but it was sitting right here because I've had it out for a couple of weeks now and the story is on the back of it. You want me to read it? I will. Like the raven in which it often... Okay, yeah, this is crow. Like the raven, which it often is a synopsis, the crow yields powerful magic. In Native American myths, the crow restores order to the heavens. A sick believes the link between the crow is abundance and prosperity. One legend tells of a white crow that warns the buffalo every time hunters approach. This leads to hunger and starvation, and the crow is eventually captured by the hunters and thrown into a fire. But it escapes before being completely burned, emerging only blackened by the flames. Black becomes its prominent color. As the crow flees, it promises never to warn the buffalo of approaching hunters again. The crow is thus the kind of phoenix that rises from the ashes, symbolizing renewal, transformation, and the promise of abundance. Okay, that's the legend of the crow. Okay, so I feel like um, that's a lot of your story. Like maybe somebody was being warned about you and it wasn't right. You know, like people need to experience you, right? And your gifts all on their own. They can't be having, you can't be having something that's running up and warning everybody that you're coming and then everybody scatters. Like if you have a mission, if you're on a mission, you're doing something and this crow is going and it's fucking with things, right? Because it's a negative energy, right? That it has to be shut down. 
right? So I feel like maybe the universe is kind of telling you that something has been um, fucking with you, okay? And now we've got the Yule Log, okay, with Frost, okay? I feel like this was the Yule Log, okay, um, that's maybe been uh, sending the smoke signal out, okay, about you coming. And now the frost has come and it's put the fire out, Okay, um, it's put the Yule log out so then people can't keep burning this as some type of smoke signal warning people. That's not fair, right? Like what if you were a secret agent, you know, and that was your job. That's how you got paid. You're a bounty hunter. And somebody keeps telling all of these felons that are skipping bail on you that are costing you hundreds and thousands of dollars as exactly when you're coming. Like, like they got a tracker on your car and they know that they're coming to get Ian Smith today. And it's like, well, fucking then Ian knows to go and flee before he gets there. Right? Like, that's not cool, man. This, this, you're going to lose all your money. Right? So now we've got bear medicine. Okay? So I do feel like um, during this whole ordeal of somebody, you know, taking the element of surprise away from your life, okay, you have done a lot of healing, okay? And in the end, honestly, if that's all you can say that you did, at least you did something with the time, right? At least you accomplished something while something was trying to fight you every step of the way, right? And, and yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like fighting your mission, but you just kept going. You kept persisting. Like, I don't care if you warn all these people at the dentist office, I'm coming tomorrow. Guess what? I'm going to be there. Right. Tried to stop you. Things like that. What's this Yule log or any, any, yeah, Yule log. Maybe? Yeah, somebody is being awfully defensive, okay? And possibly saying that they're doing you a favor by letting people know that you're on your way when you're there to kick ass. That's what you're there to do, right? And they're like, yeah, but, but I mean, come on. Why don't you just love people and stop hurting people? And, and you're like, this is my mission. I'm on the road. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've been told to do. It's where I've been taken. And, and you just want to act like, you know, it's almost like they want to act like all these criminals have every right to run and hide from you. And you're like, I'm not God. I'm not playing God. I'm just the middleman. I'm just here to deliver one to the other. What the fuck is, why do you care about anything? That's the thing. Is like, that's what's puzzling. And I'm glad this card kind of came up because look at her. Look at her standing at the wall. It's almost like very puzzling as to why, why this has been happening for so long. Why maybe um, some uh, options have been in front of you, but really they're not really options in front of you, you know? Like, because you're not really doing anything with them because maybe you know that they're not actually options for you. It seems like somebody tried to make quite a huffy puffy fight, Okay. A fight for you to work. Okay. You might've been, maybe you're trying to find work in there and they're going to some of these places and they're shit talking you right away before you can even get to the place. You know, like you, you work for a certain type of company, like a cleaning company. And then this person goes around and they call all the Molly maids and all the uh, Mr. Cleans and say like, don't hire this person. And, and, and you're like, what the fuck? Like, I, I never did anything to you. Why are you doing this? Like, it's like, it's like, it's like blackballing you. That's what I'm getting, like blackballing you in some way. Oh my gosh. And look at, you have like no idea that this is even happening, right? It's like, it's like not even giving you a way to fight back. Like you're just like down on your luck and like th there's the moon, All right? There's some Pisces action going on, but not quite Pisces, you know, doesn't have to be. Um, this is like kind of letting me know that this says there has been a lot that has been hidden from you. Okay. And there's another seven, but the seven of pentacles in reverse. It's like, if you've got something going on and you're wondering why it's not going anywhere, something has definitely been shut down for you. Um, money's not growing. Ideas aren't growing. You can't make a move. You're over now. You're over analyzing things, right? Because you've been stopped. You've been, you've been halted. Okay. And the thing is, is that, um, 
now it's almost like, you know, people got to watch who they fuck with. Like, you know, because when, when, okay, say you're a product of like massive trauma in your life. Okay, where a parent always beat you or you were never good enough or uh, you got straight A's, your parents didn't care, you know, stuff like that. You're probably an overachiever, right? You probably do a lot of things and you go above and beyond because you're used to nobody paying attention to anything you do anyway. So you might as well go above and beyond in hopes that somebody notices something eventually. Okay, um, what this idiot Okay, what is what is so funny with them is that they chose to pick a war and a fight against somebody who, if at all, okay, they didn't know what to do, they were going to sit and think about things. Like, you're obviously that kind of energy that just doesn't go out trying to pick fights. And then if you know that there's a whole bunch of people standing out there waiting to fight you, then you're going to, you're going to strategize. You're going to figure out something to do to, to either get around them, get the fuck out of there or devise a, a freaking way to b explode them on, on your front lawn. You know, like, like you're, you're going to figure out a way to do it because you're not just going to walk up to 15 people who, who are ready to fight you and go, Hey, yeah, I can take you all on. No, you're going to figure out a way around it. Right. So I feel like this has definitely made somebody, um, hang in some energy, but while you were in that energy, it's like, you got smarter. Right. It's like you got you, you figured more things out because you weren't just going to let these people get like the last laugh or the, the, the last of something, you know, eight of cups with the four of pentacles. So um, you unfortunately, you know, couldn't maybe get a lot of money in this last time, little short time. You definitely couldn't put a lot of money away. Uh, definitely forced to stay in some energy that you, you know, didn't really want to be in, but you had no other choice because they had you working your ass off. Okay. Knight of cups, king of swords, magician. So now I see that somebody's figured something out here. Okay. They figured out now that there's a little bit more to enjoy with their life. And that's, that's what is going to fuck this person up so much. It's like, you come out of this and now you've got more of a zest for life. You have more of a spice for things now, because things have been taken away from you for so long that now it's like, huh, huh, man, I, I really saw life before, but now I'm really, you know, sucking those flowers and I'm really taking a minute to enjoy myself. And that's going to fuck them up even more. Right. Because you didn't hate yourself. You didn't give up on yourself. You most certainly didn't kill yourself. You didn't, you just, you just fought back and you continued to fight back until you won until you realize why they were fighting you and they were fighting you. So then you wouldn't look. So then it's almost like they were fighting you. So then you wouldn't look back and notice that or look forwards and notice that they were warning everybody about you. Right. There's the two of cups the lovers and the four of swords. So unity after some really bad failed relationships. Okay. So over the last little while, because of, because of this energy, okay, you've had a lot of failed partnerships and a lot of failed relationships and a lot of, um, stagnant energy of not going anywhere. Okay. But that's about to change. We've got the ace of pentacles with the two of swords. I almost feel like two offers are coming in that you might not know which one to choose. Okay. Because so much has been taken from you in such a long period of time right so now it's like you've got to make the right decision for yourself and how you want to do this ace of pentacles because of everything that's been taken right and i almost feel like maybe people have deemed you as a thief in some way um they tell other companies that you steal um or that you uh look really suspicious and and only people that look that suspicious are actual thieves so you've really had to like try to figure out a way to get around all of all of this unnecessary blockage okay so um i guess you figured out to wait until the winter until you could put this yule log out and get this get this smoke signal behind you or in front of you to get you to go to, to go away and then once they couldn't they didn't have their form of communication anymore that's where you were able to kind of go under the radar and get in front of them and now they don't know where you are because you're not behind them anymore. You're in front of them. So. 
Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I really, really like this reading. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Actually, there's a couple signs that popped up here, right? There's um, Pisces, Gemini, and Leo. Yeah, Pisces, Gemini, and Leo. Okay, we're going to write that down. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, just like I said in the beginning. It's not all going to resonate with you. That's like pulling a needle out of a haystack. But guess what? Needles and haystacks get found. So take that. Um, personal readings, but moonshine at gmail.com. You can also check out my about section. Um, it at least tells you, you know, how much they are. Um, thanks for like commenting. And it's really important when you like the reading to like it because it really lets YouTube know that people like my content. So if you do like my content, thank you so much for liking it. Okay, literally liking, hearting it. Um, and thanks for the comments and the emails. And you guys are so great. So thanks for everything, ladies, gentlemen, everybody that's out there. Um, obviously, enjoy the channel. Monthly subscriptions, $4.99. Um, I'm really trying to like cater to them and make sure my members know how much I appreciate them and how much I love them. And, um, so, yeah. That's probably all I'm going to say. Peace out, everybody. Take care. We're to you, mothers.